this right here is a Cummins ISX. I think this is a 2016 or something like that. It's an ISX 15. Um, well, it's 2011. That's what it says. And there, 2012. Let me check the big number. Double check. And we're going to check the mileage too. Same time. So. Yeah, 2012. Hmm, I thought it was newer. Anyway, um, the mileage on this one is 1 million miles. There you have it. 1 million miles on these Cummins. Um, the manual transmission, by the way. Um, the, the, the problem then we have, well, we had, this is the reason why the engine uh, it's like this because uh, it, it was misfiring. It was kind of like making a sound, like on like a. I don't have the actual video of the sound, but it was making some kind of like a misfire sound, and then it wasn't working right. Um, the driver was complaining about like low power, and also noise while driving. Oh, sorry, yeah. and also noise while driving. Um, of course, uh, um, if we get something like that, uh, we didn't have any type of fault codes or something, uh, it's obviously then we have an internal engine problem. And indeed we have, so uh, in this case, the problem was in the crankshaft. The car, the, no, sorry, the crankshaft, the crankshaft was the issue. But uh, in these trucks, I mean, Cummins engines, to remove the crankshaft, because the crankshaft is all in here, and you have to be pulled out, you have to remove all the front end of the vehicle. So the radiator hood and all that, all the components that are in front, have to be removed in order to remove the cancha. But once you get the cancha out, uh, you are ready to replace it. But anyway, uh, here is the uh, cancha, and this is the way it looks. It's a pretty long piece of metal, uh, and the damage is in this lob right here. See, right here. That's a terrible wear. See that? how deep it went. Um, so one of the valves wasn't open completely. So this this is the way uh, a lot should look like in a good condition. Some wear, some marks, and something like that is normal, but it should be in one piece. Uh, but this one is like completely down to uh, the lowest part of the lobe, and so it wasn't able to open. So in this case, like one, two, three. Four. Cylinder number four was the one that wasn't working at all. Um, uh, but also, uh, we also had um, the uh, rocker arm roller damage. Of if you have uh, damage on the crankshaft, you are going to have damage on the rocker arm roller. And indeed, right, we have it right here. That's the damage. The other ones look okay. They look a little, a little um, um, wore out, but that is kind of like the way it's supposed to look. Uh, in this case, then we have this damage right here. Uh, it will be good to replace all the rollers if you have the money. But if you don't have the money, just replacing this one will make the trick. And also, if we are going to uh, uh, replace this crankshaft right here. Uh, uh, just double check that the crankshaft is the right number for this engine because Cummins ISX vary depending on the years, depending on the horsepower, depending on the uh, type of uh, uh, application of the engine. So be sure then your engine uh, serial number, which is that one there, uh, matches with the crankshaft number right there. If you get the wrong crankshaft number, you are going to have problems. Uh, maybe you want to have sounds, you have low power, or simply the engine is not going to work. Um, so double check all that. But as it is, let's take a look again of the damage. If you find any type of damage like this on your engine, on your Cummins engine, uh, be sure to address it as soon as possible. Um, I mean, I don't, there is nothing else that is going to happen, nothing else is going to break, but the engine is not, is not going to work properly. Because it's already broken, so it's not gonna go lower than this. Um, the pressure is not happening anymore, so the highest part of the lobe is right here. <coughs> Sorry. And whenever the uh, 
the rocker arm hits this area, the top area, is when it is pushing the ball down, and that's what is putting the large amount of pressure to the lob. But because of the uh, lob is completely destroyed the way it is, uh, it's not making any pressure anymore. Uh, so it's not gonna be worse than that. But of course, you never can trust it. So that's the reason why uh, it's good to always uh, repair it as soon as possible because. Uh, this way you're gonna save some money on fuel and also you are going to have an engine that is working the way it's supposed to work in harmony with the other mechanical components uh, but as you can see this engine has one million miles and the crankshaft crankshaft I'm sorry I've been saying crankshaft a lot and the crankshaft is damaged uh, but it can happen to any engine at any time especially Cummins engines because Cummins engines use uh, steel rollers so the rollers here are steel so when the roller goes bad um, the crankshaft goes bad too so uh, that's the reason why if you find any type of uh, like hairiness like that like a kind of like a damage on the roller a very tiny roll uh, damage if you find it like that replace the roller as soon as possible so that way you don't have to replace the, crank the crankshaft but if you don't do it, uh, you will have to replace the crankshaft and the roller. So it will be a little more expensive and a little more intensive job to do. But uh, uh, it is just my recommendation. Uh, of course, sometimes these uh, problems are pretty hard to find uh, because you don't get any type of uh, a fault codes, any type of uh, a problems. It is just like you trying to find the problem. That's it. It is uh, you trying to like get to the bottom of the problem so for that you have to investigate so much and the easiest way will be just to remove the ball cover but uh, once you remove the ball cover you want to find the damage but sometimes sometimes um, in, in some occasions can be the possibility then the roller I mean the the lobe will be in the down position so you just want to see this area that is clean and you're never gonna see this area right here so um, that's the reason why if you are checking your crankshaft or your rollers or any mechanical component, any rotation component, it is good then you rotate the engine at least 360 degrees, which is one turn, so that way you can see other areas of the engine. And if you don't see it, turn it again, so that way you can inspect the whole engine completely. And that will uh, give you the best uh, idea on how the engine is running or any of the mechanical components, if they have any damage. Um, but uh, it is just uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, but if you find the problem, of course, I mean, uh, just fix it, and that will uh, solve whatever problem your engine is having. But uh, this is all I have for you on this video. As you can see, this Cummins has one million miles already, um, and it has kind of problems. Uh, still, the engine runs uh, with no problems, and this engine hasn't been rebuilt so far, um, or at least that's what I think. Um, but uh, it, it's running fine. So, so as soon as we get that uh, uh, fixed, we'll see how the engine runs, and um, hopefully, it's gonna last for at least 100, 200,000 miles more before the engine goes bad, or maybe the engine never gonna, gonna go bad. So, who knows, right? So, uh, like the video, share the subscribe, uh, go to Instagram if you wanna find me as Francisco Mara YouTube. If you wanna come to the shop. Uh, you're more than welcome. Um, 8215 Beach Avenue, Fontana, California, CC Office Services. If you want to come by, just be sure to bring some time with you because most of the time we have many trucks to work. So today is a Sunday, the day that I'm doing this video, and I'll show you how many trucks we have to work on Monday. See you. That truck, that truck, that truck. That one is already done, this one, that one is just waiting for parts, that one waiting for parts, that one too. Uh, those over there are just like there, this, the Volvo there, the blue one there, um, and that one too, and this one too. So we have a bunch of trucks already to work already on one day, so uh, that's the reason why I said uh, you have to uh, bring some time, so that way we can uh, uh, fix your truck the way. Uh, it needs to be, and if we can fix your truck immediately, of course we will, but it has to be a small job. Anyway, I hope you like this video, and thank you for watching.